Hello students. In the last video, we very, very quickly introduced you to the reason for writing a number in scientific notation. So just a quick reminder, scientific notation is when we write a number in the form, a number between 1 and 10, including 1 but not including 10, multiplied by a power of 10. And that power can be either a positive or a negative integer. So 10 to the negative 5 or possibly 10 to the negative 4. So let's start with um, a few questions you can actually solve already without me having to teach you anything about scientific notation. So I want you to evaluate 4 times 10 to the negative 2. In fact, I'll do the first one and I'll have you do the remaining 3. So I know how to write this out as a normal number. Well, first, notice that all of these are in scientific notation. The first number is a number between 1 and 10 including 1, multiplied by a power of 10. So each of these is written in scientific notation. So if I wanted to turn that back into a normal number, I would just do this. 4 multiplied by, well, 10 squared is 10 times 10, and 10 times 10 is 100, and 4 times 100 is 400. 6.5 times 10 to the fourth. I'll do this one and let you do the other two. Well, that's going to be 6.5 multiplied by 10 by 10 by 10 by 10, which is 10,000. And the fast way to multiply by a power of 10 is to just move the decimal point. So I've got to move that decimal point four places to the right. So 6.5, the decimal point was there. Whoops. Want to get rid of it. One place two places, three places, four places. So 6.5 times 10 to the fourth can be written as 65,000. Okay, guys, go ahead, stop the video, and rewrite or write each of those numbers in full. Okay, let's see how you went. So 5.71 by 10 to the eighth is... 571, I'm not going to write the decimal point this time. I'm going to save, save myself a bit of writing. I'm going to multiply that by 10 to the 8th, which means I've got to move the decimal point 8 places to the right. So it was there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And I'll put in commas to separate out the, uh, the digits. And that's 571 million. And finally, the last one is just 1 times, oops, don't want to do that, 1 times 10 to the power of 6. Well, 10 to the power of 6 is just a million, so that's going to be just a million. Okay, so we can already, um, from what you already know about uh, mathematics or about arithmetic, you can already write numbers in scientific, nota scientific notation as ordinary numbers. Uh, Let's work out how to work, work back the other way. If you give it a number, how do you turn it into scientific notation? Okay, now from the previous page, we know that 6.5 times 10 to the fourth is 65,000. So we can basically say if we want to write 65,000 in scientific notation, we can write it as 6.5 times 10 to the fourth. So how do we actually do this quickly? Well, basically, here's where the decimal point was. It was after, at the end of the number. We're moving it to behind the 6. So to do that, we've divided by 10, divided by 10, divided by 10, divided by 10. So we've divided by 10 to the 4th. Well, we can't divide a number by 10 to the 4th unless we also multiply by 10 to the 4th. So that's why 65,000 can be written as 6.5 times 10 to the 4th. And in general, here's a quick way to write any number, any large number, in scientific notation. And by the way, another name for scientific notation is called standard form. So again, depending on which country of the world you're working in or where your textbook's coming from, it might say standard form rather than scientific notation. Okay, here's a very quick way of writing any large number in scientific notation, such as this number here. Well, the first thing you do, your decimal point, which was at the end of the number, you put it after the first digit, so 9.8. That's going to give us the number between 1 and 10. So that gives us, sorry, excuse me, 9.87. 9.87, 9 
So that gives us the first part of our answer, the number between 1 and 10. Now, how far did we move that decimal point? Well, we moved it 3, 6, 9, 12, 13 places. So therefore, it's going to be 9.87 times 10 to the 13th. Effectively, we divided by 10 to the 13th, so we have to multiply by 10 to the 13th. So it's pretty much move the decimal point to make the first number between 1 and 10, count how many places you moved it, and that becomes the power. So let's go ahead and write these in scientific notation. I'll do the first one, and you do the next two. So I got 196 million, so here's how I do that. First, I rewrite, I don't write the zeros, but I write all the non-zero numbers from the start, putting my decimal point after the first number. That gives me a number between 1 and 10. So 1.96 times, now I move my decimal point 8 places. So times 10 to the power of 8. Okay, stop the video and do the other two questions, please. Okay, let's see how you went. So this is going to be 3. By the way, I could put I could put 3.0, but it's easier to just write the 3. So the decimal point is after the 3, but when it's a whole number, we don't write it. And then times, well, we move the decimal point back 3 places. So therefore, it's 3 times. Sorry, we move the decimal point back 9 places. So therefore, it's 3 by 10 to the power of 9. And the last one, move the decimal point after the 5, so that's 5.706. Occasionally students say, well, can I write the other zeros? Well, you can if you want to, but it's not going to change the value of the number. So it's simpler to write it as just 5.706. This time I move the decimal point back 9, 10 places. So 5.706 times 10 to the power of 10. So that's how you write ordinary numbers in scientific notation. Okay, let's go back the other way to finish this video off, and let's do a quick way of writing a number already in scientific, in scientific notation as an ordinary number. So we don't have to write out the 10 by 6 in full like we did at the beginning. We can just move the decimal point. So here's how you do questions like this. First off, you write the number without the decimal place, so 7004. Now move your decimal point six places to the right. So it was there, one, two, three, four, five, six. And I like to put in commas to make the number easier to read. So 7.004 times 10 to the power of six is 7,004,000. Okay, stop the video, have a go at the next three questions, please. Okay, let's see how it went. Well, even though you don't see a decimal point here, that means it's at the end of the number. So that's really 5 by 10 to the fourth. So I write the 5, and I've got to move it four places to the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4. There's my decimal point there, but I, I normally don't write it when I'm writing numbers. And that comes out to be 50,000. The next one, write the 403, move your decimal point eight places to the right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Put in the commas, and that's 403 million. And the last one illustrates a point. I'll show you what it is in a second. So move the decimal point three places to the right, six, nine, nine, Eight, and the comma goes in there. And the point of this last one is for numbers that aren't really, really big, like 6,998, there's really no benefit in writing that in scientific notation. That's much more complicated than the number itself. But when you've got larger numbers, like 403 million, it makes sense to write those numbers in scientific notation. Okay, in the next video, we're going to show you how to write really, really small numbers in scientific notation.